Over many years, I've worked with many organisations around the UK, and especially with sales managers about how to best give feedback to people. You wouldn't believe it, I've come across many people who would fit into what are called the autocratic camp. These are the people who just tell the others what to do and expect it to happen. And on the other hand, people who are very, very democratic and not direct enough in their approach to actually enable somebody to take action on advice that's been given to them. You know as well as I do that people are very, very, very different. And this approach that I'm about to share with you will allow you to enable all styles of individual on your team to take on feedback in the most effective way possible with the outcome of them changing their behavior, changing their performance and changing their results so you can achieve your organization's objectives. A more subtle but even more effective way of issuing feedback is to allow that person to identify three things that they did well in that situation followed by three things that they feel that they could do to get a higher level of performance next time round. By giving the person responsibility to search for the things that they need to do to improve, we'll give them the opportunity to take full responsibility and be accountable for implementing the things that they need to do to get a higher level of performance. Avoid telling people what they need to do, work with your people and create the conditions where they can find exactly what it is that they need to do so they can take ownership of that. And what you will find is that they will feel as if they've got more control over themselves, more control over finding the solutions and giving you more control to make sure that their behavior, their skills and ultimately their performance changes for good. Oh, <laughs> oh,